Note to future Emily. You've just seen a video of Kieran. Today is December, uh, November the 20 something. And you've just seen a video of Kieran said the ugly vlog. Which basically is, he's calling himself ugly. Um, normally back in the day you would have said... Um, you're not ugly, you're gorgeous, you're fucking sexy, that sort of thing. But you can't anymore. That bit of your life is over. Because the most you want right now is friendship. Because the two main points why you two did not work is because sex. He can't have it. Simple as. And I'm starting to believe that it's not that he can't have it, it's that he doesn't want it, completely honest. And there are people out there that don't want sex. Which is not you. You love sex. You adore it. Yeah, hopefully going to have it today with Jordan. But you, the way I feel right now is that uh, he doesn't want to ever have sex. Otherwise, he would have got it sorted sooner. So that's how I feel right now is that because he doesn't want to have sex, it would never work. Because if we went on the way we were going to go on, where I knew Michael just for relief. It, f it felt like cheating. It felt like I was cheating on Kieran whenever me and Michael would have sex. And we tried, me and Adam, me and Kieran, sorry, we tried so many things. We tried the toy, we tried Viagra. We tried, oh, we tried the Viagra at Boots, we tried the Viagra at Pound Lounge, we tried so many different things, cock rings, the Viagra Bray and the normal kind. We tried so many different things and nothing worked. And completely honest, you, I need that, I need sex. Ever since having it again with Michael and Jordan, I miss it. Then the reason two, because it only goes down to two reasons why it would never work with us two, is the age. People say age is just a number, but it all depends. But I don't believe that, you know. Because I'm 30 now, I'm ready to settle down. Be married to someone and live with someone. I'm ready to live with someone and be married to someone. That's what I want. And <coughs> Kieran doesn't. Which is normal, which is real, which is true. Because I remember when I was his age and I didn't want to settle down. I wanted just to have fun and go and um, focus on different things. When I was his age, I focused on my independent skills. Um, I keep my house tidy, which I still struggle with today. Money, which, I str which I'm getting better at. Um, and more importantly, relationships. Because I've had a best friend now for years and I still struggle maintaining that one because we don't see each other at all. And that's because, she, uh, completely honest, I think she lives too far away. Newcastle is too far away. Um, but still, age, um, I'm ready to settle down, be married and live with someone. And like, by the time I'm 35, I want to be married and live with someone by the time I'm 35. That's what I want. That's my goal in life. I don't care about being an actor. I don't care about 
um, anything else. I just want to be um, married with someone and live with them. But live with them first, then marry them. That's my goal in life, is that... I don't care about the kids, even though I've got two in the other room. Stevie and Sally. No, I've got three, sorry. Stevie, Sally and Lola. And they've got other names attached to them as well, but they're the first names. Um, the most I want from me and Kieran right now that I want is a friendship. And him to be a father to his children. But I don't want to leave them alone at his house. Because of Hooch. Hooch has attacked too many of my friends since I've been gone. And his friends since I've been gone. He's attacked too many friends since I've been gone. So that's why I, could, I can't leave the babies with him unattended at his house. So if that means I have to go back to his house, I have to go back to his house. I don't trust Hooch with them. Because they're my children. I am thinking about in a couple of years buying toddler ones um, so I can change the size of the pram to toddler and one will always be a baby and the other one will be a toddler so I'm thinking of making Sally the toddler and leave Stevie as a baby in the bassinet um, because Sally was born before Stevie but Laura was born before <laughs> or, um, the, the both of them and she's, a tw uh, she's 12 years old because she's 12 years old, um, I'm going off track here. I'm going off track. That's what I want. I I know, understand where Kim's coming from. There are problems and we could work around them. But things have been said since the breakup. And... Only now, when it's been three months, am I finally getting my life sorted. And it's taking time. I'm figuring out who I am. And if I did go back out with them, I'd feel upset. And basically, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like myself. I've, um, cause I've made so much progress since him that made to move on to another person and if I went back with him I'd have to wait even longer to live with someone wait even longer to be married to someone and be with someone that doesn't want sex and I can't do that so, I think when he jumped me, it was either, I think he just jumped the gun because I think I was going to do the jumping. He just beat me to it. Because a lot of things were hurting me. I remember, I, I hurt myself. So many times in that relationship, I was self harming. That relationship was hurting me. I don't realize until I've looked at my arms now, and I self harm a lot less now. I still do it now, but a lot less. Um, and I see my arm and my hands, more importantly, my hand, and I realize I might not show that I was hurting, I might have shown that I was happy and everything, but look at my hand and my arm. Most of those were when I was with Karen. So that was a destructive relationship. And, and 
I did love him. A bit of me always will. But we'll work I think we will work better as a friendship rather than a relationship. Hopefully. That's what I want. I, I want a friendship with him rather than a relationship with him. Because I knew, I know I knew him for a year, but he was more of an acquaintance during that year before we got together. So I did, it wasn't really on my radar that much. So I don't know what the future holds, but I would love friendship to blossom from what can't be a relationship and then see what happens we might make a relationship work from this friendship but the way I want it right now is just a friendship that will hurt him because of the way he feels right now he'd feel rejected but sometimes you need the harsh truth sometimes and this was meant to be a letter to me about why it would never work with Kieran. And I am going to post this. And I'm going to call it Reasons Why It Would Never Work With Kieran. And you will probably read this and do an angry video back to me. But I had to be honest. We would never work as a relationship. Because I feel like, this is how I feel. Like, I need sex and he doesn't want it. And I'm ready to be married and live with someone where he's happy having fun and focusing on drama and things like that. And honestly, I think he should just focus on his drama. And if we can be civil to each other, then I'd happily put his name forward for Tristan Ducks. Because I haven't been, honestly, since the breakup, I haven't been. Um, I haven't said anything to Jay or anything to try and get him in the Tristan Ducks because... Of what he's been saying about me behind my back and things. But if this is a start of a friendship, then that's what I want. I want to erase everything I and mean, start afresh and be nice to each other. And I think I am with this video. I am explaining why it would never work. And sometimes we need this to be sad. Yeah, so from this Emily to whatever Emily reads this in the future or listens to this, well, listens to this in the future, when she needs it the most. These are the reasons why it would never work with you and Kieran. Age and sex, all right? All the other things can be worked around, but you want to settle down. You want to be married and live with someone and you need sex and he doesn't want it. Alright, hope this works, hope this helps. Bye.